Hi everyone, Mark here at Vengeant Apparatus, the 911 Rapid Response, and we got an awesome vehicle showcase to show you today. This is a 2021 F450 Extended Cab uh, for the Halifax Fire Department. Uh, just a sweet build, very functional truck, and we're going to go over with over that with you right now. So let's start at the front of the vehicle. Uh, we got a buck stop lift kit on this, as you can see, super single lift kit. If it takes your other bumper off, we put this bumper on. On the buck stop, we add um, other stuff to it, as you can see. We have the uh, Summit Series stick here from Whelan. This is a really cool stick light because what it does is it gives us some red warning in it, plus it gives us our amber marker lights, which just makes it look really cool, right? And it also gives us scene lights that can go steady burn, and right now we're obviously flashing them. The vehicle's in slider position three, and I have the e-brake set and it's in neutral. So this would be like when it's driving down the road is, is what it looks like right now. Down in the lower part of the bumper, we got some wheel and 500 series. Uh, these are uh, red linear lights. Along over here along the side, this gives us some more intersection at a 45 degree. We have some driving lights that are, that are in the bumper. And then we also have our uh, worn winch in here as well. So if they do get stuck or they need to pull something up, they can, they can obviously do that. As we go through the vehicle here, you're going to see the graphics package, which is done in-house, done by our market graphics team. Uh, complements the vehicle very nice. Uh, it's all uh, printed. There's no overlays or nothing like that on it. We have a little bit of hood graphic up there in the top. Kind of uh, brings this yellow and, and a black color scheme into the front of the truck very nicely. Come around here to this side, when we put these super single lift kits on, uh, we're doing other shocks, springs, um, arms, the whole nine yards, and we're also replacing and cutting this fender out to actually get this, this uh, larger fender in uh, to protect this, um, what this tire might sling up, right? So these are huge Continental uh, MPT81 tires that are on this truck. They're 335.80s is actually what's on it. So they're, they're pretty large. As we come through to the back of the vehicle, we have a running board on it, which has grip strut in it. So we don't have to worry about falling or anything like that. It has a real uh, rugged uh, texture in there. Um, so any type of inclement weather, we don't have to worry about falling or, or uh, getting it out of the truck. Front fender as well, we have a V-Series Ion. V-Series are real popular with us because they're nice because they do straight out the side. But with that V, we also get a lot of warning here off the back angle as well as you will off the front. So the real popular light that we use on the front fenders of our trucks. Going to the top, we have the wheel and senator bar. Right now we have the white flashing. It's in red flashing mode. When we throw this to park, uh, it's going to slow the pattern down so it's not as obnoxious and it's actually safer uh, if the vehicle is on the road and you do um, when it is in park. Moving along to the back, this is called our Sandstorm brush truck. And what makes this the Sandstorm brush truck is our patented bed rail that we offer. This patented bed rail has been proven many times already on our trucks. We have several trucks with this out and every customer absolutely loves it. What it allows us to do, it is allows us to mount our lighting, DOT lighting and stuff, recessed into our rub rail. By doing that, we don't rip that lighting off the side of the truck from tree branches and that type of stuff. So it allows us to recess this. The other thing it allows us to do, it does allow us to put a hook underneath as well. And another important feature about it, you can't see it, but on the back side, there's one of these recessed rails on the back side, which lets all our wiring built in our bed rail itself. So there's no wiring going down the cross members, which is a big deal when you have a brush truck. The box is here in the back. I'm gonna show you some features. We have a wheeling, um, uh, wide flood light up top here comes on with the side scene light switch to give us some extra scene lighting here out the back sides these compartments are coated in ppc material coating which is um, uh, a coating that is far better than rhino or linex type material it it allows the uh, texture that you see here stay like this and this will stay like this forever basically in 10 years from now five years from now whatever you can clean it and it's going to look like this it doesn't get embedded with dirt as other bed liner material will get it's a really nice uh, a really nice coating material you can see there's some other storage comp some other trays and stuff that we made obviously uh, in this as we go throughout it here's a wheel chalk mounted underneath 
I'm 6'2", and uh, we have these doors, they go up high enough, I don't hit my head on them, I'm not gonna whop my head or anything like that, and keep in mind, if you're using this, you're not using a full-size fire helmet generally, you have more of a wild uh, land helmet on too, so you should have a helmet on anyways when you're here at the truck, but if you're just doing stuff around the station, you don't have to worry about, about hitting your head off these doors. And then this is just other mounting, they have all the tools, you know, obviously at their, at their station. We do have um, underground lighting the whole way around the truck. There's some here, some in the back at nighttime. It glows the whole bottom of the truck up. We added a little unique feature in this. This is the first time we did this on one of our brush trucks. The customer wanted a different style step, but they wanted one on either side. Uh, we mounted a handrail on here. This just allows them to get up basically and get into the back of the vehicle easily if they got to do any type of hose loading or anything like that. As we come around to, to, the, to the back of the vehicle, one thing that I want to um, point out is this was dedicated to uh, Tyler Laudenslager, the department. Um, wanted to recognize um, for his years of service and uh, we thank him and his family as well. You're going to see along this, in this rub rail, the reflective striping that's in here, it does say move, or, move over and slow down, um, which is another thing that's in the dedication for Tyler. The very back here, we have the uh, rear mounted bumper, again, custom made here at Vengeon Apparatus. Uh, it's not a bumper that we buy, it's something that we cadre, we make on our own. If anybody picked up on the edit, which I don't know if you have, but this truck sits about that much higher than the other ones on the bed because we have a storage compartment in here, which is for their um, hard sleeve suctions and just some other tool handles and things like that. So this, this is nice because it gets it um, out of these side compartments and you don't have to put them up top. Um, it's a nice storage that's underneath. And everything, even that the truck sits a little bit higher, still very stable. Um, on the road and still very stable over over hills and things like that and it's still very functional to work out the back here as well we have a water tank here which is from um, wild bear fire they're out of actually boyer town they're local to us uh, very nice pump configuration that we have when you turn on the the pump it turns on the light back here to shine this up and un unlike the uh, exhaust type primers we have a different style primer as well um, on the pump itself. We have a hose reel off the back, little cup here which just holds a nozzle. It's the little things that matter, little things like that versus a strap or something. Um, it's easier to get it, faster deployment. You can see here we built a tray. This tray works really slick for putting um, all the adapters and that type of stuff on it, whatever else they might keep in here. Rubber mallet, some extra nozzles. Uh, the slides just lock right back down in. That locks back up. On this side, when we come to this side, we have another grab handle, so if we need to get up on the truck, stand up here, get up to here, you can. We do have a cooler here um, that they're gonna, we're gonna secure, and they'll be able to put, um, obviously, uh, water and stuff like that when they're out and about. Um, yeah, usually forest fires unfortunately only come when it's like 90 degrees outside, so it's just kind of how it is. Another compartment here on the side, some packs. Storage down here as well. Another wheel truck on this side of the truck. And then we do have storage up top here as well, which is why that step comes into play, so you can stop up, hop up and, uh, and uh, get into that. We're gonna go over some of the inside here to finish up. Then we go over some uh, features in the controller and uh, hope you like what you're seeing. Okay, now we're gonna go to the inside of the vehicle. Let me show you what we have in here. So in the inside here, we do have uh, pins that we put in so this door doesn't go back and obviously slam into the body. But in the back we fabricated, also coated this as well, with some wildland packs, um, wind station, some headlamp packs, different stuff like that, radio chargers, flashlights. There's some extra storage underneath as well that you can get in here. Plus we left the seat on the other side so you can put um, right three people in this truck. In the front you can see we have, we do make our own consoles. This is our uh, made out of uh, maple wood console. The front here you have a wheel and 4200 controller that has all um, your switches for scene lights, sirens of that nature. We'll go down 
We have a door open light on here, so that's that indication's on. We do have a charger, onboard charging system on that, which uh, shows you the level of that right here. Uh, going down through, we actually um, also moved, let me back up a second, we also put in a USB plug, which uh, does connect to the vehicle itself. We relocated it from off the dashboard since you can't get to it with the console and put it, put it here. We did add a power call. The customer requested that they have uh, the power call and a separate siren. So we added a separate siren so you can run uh, two tones here at the same time but it also is a standalone unit if need be. Customer supplied um, radio, as you can see. These are all set on purpose. So if we mount computers in the future or anything like that, or any other type of uh, um, hang tags or anything that need to be done, we have some room down the side of the console to do that. There are a set of cup holders there in the back as well. We do have a uh, backup camera. We replaced take the rear view mirror off actually, you know, obviously you don't need that and we put the uh, screen up top. It makes a real nice complimentary um, area to put that because that's naturally where you look when you're backing up anyways. So we are beyond excited here at Vengeance Apparatus and Rapid Response to build a truck, not just for Halifax, but really for the, uh, the dedication as well um, that this truck is going to. And uh, it is just a cool looking truck. You know, a lot of trucks that we do are obviously red, you know, um, but the white truck with with uh, with this decal layout and the box with the black and some aluminum, it really pops. It really looks good. Uh, and this just goes to show you what the staff can do here with a customer. Take those customers' ideas, take the staff ideas, and we just blend these together. And these are the results that you get from us. Uh, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about uh, a sandstorm brush truck, whether it's a brush truck or a surge, squall, mini pumper, whatever body that may be, we are more than happy to help you out, talk to you about it, and show you what our passion can give you because this, 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 uh, this is it right here. So thanks again for watching. Um, I hope you like the video. Make sure you keep watching your social media platforms. If you never stopped in and asked for a tour, please, please do that. We'd be more than happy to show you around the facility. And um, have a great day. We appreciate it.